good. Maybe it's best not to put things on here because we might jostle the camera. Oh, sorry. I stapled them. So those aren't Okay, well, in Numbers 30, the problem you just uh, gave me, they asked you, well, they asked you for the major product, not yes. all possible products. So how are we supposed to know that SN1 is going to be Yeah, that can be tricky. Usually you get more SN1, usually you get more substitution than elimination. So we usually you get more substitution than elimination. One way to favor elimination is heat. If they're putting in heat, they might mean that they're going to favor uh, elimination then. So, like, every problem that we got was, like, they just got S1. Does that mean every time they were oh, so S1? Yeah. So, generally speaking, substitution would be best. Now, however, the safest thing to do is remember that the person that wrote your textbook solution is not the same person who's going to be grading your exam. Right. And different instructors have different kind of standards for what are significant products. So uh, before you take uh, before the test comes around, you want to have gone through any sample exams you have. Have you gotten a sample exam? Yeah. You want to have gone through that and then seen what his, what their standards are for what the products are for SN1 and E1. Uh, so uh, so what I was talking about before, it, you see, each instructor was different. When I said that last time, I was thinking uh, previously I was tutoring people who had an instructor who wanted people showing both the SN1 and the E1 products. It's possible that your instructor might be different. So the only way to show for sure. Huh? They have a different instructor? We well, you know they're no, different no, no, like, instructor every semester. I mean, right. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you yeah. like not this, the not people right, right, right now. Us, no, just previous saying, years. How is that possible? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, different instructors have different standards for which products are significant enough. Uh, the instructor I was working with last time generally uh, sometimes wanted people to show both substitution okay. and elimination. This one might not. So look at the uh, sample well, exam the and see what the standards are. Actually, there. I have it. Yeah. There, there was a table in the book. I can find it. That's only two halo, two methyl propane. Uh oh. Okay. Just kidding, I didn't. Is, is CH3, CH2OH polar protic or polar aprotic? Yeah, that's a good question. That's very important. Mm -hmm. This is the solvent you were thinking about? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Uh, did we talk about polar protic and aprotic last time? Yes. A little bit. So you guys tell me, ethanol? is this protic or aprotic? This is this ethanol? Yeah, this is ethanol. That's right. That's protic because it can hydrogen bond with OH. Yeah, and how do we know it can form hydrogen bonds? Because if you have an O or an N. With a hydrogen attached. Hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. So a protic solvent is a solvent with an OH or an NH bond. If there's at least one OH or NH bond, it's a protic solvent. So this is a protic solvent. Mm 